Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to map a sketch to a face and it's, uh, you'll see the tool in the in the part design toolbar and this is in the main in the body toolbar I think I'm not sure that's what it's called or not but you'll see it's that tool there and this is for um, maybe if you've copied a sketch from another um, body or uh, created a new sketch outside of part design or if you need to remap a sketch maybe after the uh, underlying naming structure has gotten messed up a little bit because sometimes get sketches get detached uh, when you're moving stuff around so um, I hope you like my little uh, you know <laughs> design based on this this is a fun way to learn actually is trying to see if you can match the uh, the icons in FreeCAD I, I, I found it surprisingly pleasant um, but we're, we're going to be doing it a little bit more simply with just a cube and a circle. And I'm going to be showing you how it or, uh, how it relates to the uh, the body origin. And so you'll get some placement lesson out of this too. Um, this is actually starts out very simply, but when we when we try to move the body, the, this box within the body, it gets pretty, uh, it gets actually advanced. So you will want to hang on to the end. There's some gems at the end. So actually I'm going to get rid of this to begin with. And then we'll start out with a fresh one, but we'll leave our fun design there. So all I need to begin with is adding a cube or a box, I'm sorry, and that automatically adds a body. And so with that box, let's do our zoom, orient and zoom here. I'm going to add a sketch and I'm not going to, I'm going to attach it to the body XY plane. So it's not attached to the box. So you'll notice they're both, um, they're both uh, coincident by by the initial uh, placement of the origin. So I'm gonna stick the this circle over here just so it overlaps a little bit so we can get some perspective. And let's show the body origin. So it's hard to communicate all of this in the article. So I, I strongly recommend you use this with the, if you're looking at the article. So now we can see the body origin. Let's get rid of the plane so it's a little bit easier to see. So now we see the uh, axes here for the body and then we can see the sketch. Now if we open up the sketch again, you can see quite clearly that they, um, they uh, are coincident. And also these dashes are on purpose. That's not a, 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 that's not a flaw in the thing. It allows you to select, I thought, maybe I'm wrong. I thought you could select the one and not the other, but I guess I'm wrong. So that's with the sketch unmapped. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map the sketch to the top of this box. So you have to pre-select pre the face you wanna map it to and you select the map tool. So you'll be presented with all the sketches. I only have one, so there's only one shown. Um, and that can get quite confusing. And th this sketch attachment dialog has a couple of interesting pieces to it that are not self-evident. Is if you don't have a valid selection for a sketch to be mapped, it'll say don't attach um, and, and other messages. And then also these will change based on what you have selected too. So I'm just gonna select it to the flat flat face and you'll see right away the sketch has been uh, reoriented and to highlight how it's attached we'll see that the sketch origin here is matched to the corner of the box so it, although it may seem it's on the uh, z-axis it's not it's attached to the low I, I believe it's the lowest vect, um, vertex of the box of, of the face so this will be vertex and I could be able to see it because the sketch is there but that would be vertex one, I think. There it is, vertex one. And then if you go around, you find that these are all higher, higher numbered vertexes. So now you can see clearly that the sketch is mapped. And now, now let's move this box to show you that the sketch will move with the box and its origin. Now, normally you can't move this box within the body. It's, it's, pro, it's um, that feature is restricted so that the body works a certain way. So we, you know. Um, it's around a certain workflow. So we're gonna kind of break that workflow by just to show you this. Um, and I'm gonna re-enable re these and leave the origin so we'll be able to see those when we need to. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into map mode and I'm gonna go in the ellipses so we get the selections. And I'm gonna put XY on a plane. And then I'm gonna select as a reference. Um, oops, so yeah, so I need this to select as a reference. I'm gonna select the XY plane as a reference. And uh, nope, I didn't want that. I want the XY plane. And then we're going to click OK. So now when we look at the box, it has it has an attachment. 
okay and what that allow us to do is to move the box and not the body so you can see I'm moving the, the uh, I'm moving the box and you'll see the body origin is staying where it is so let's get rid of these planes now so we can see that the box is off centered the box's origin is off centered from the body's origin but you'll see this the sketch has gone has moved with the box so that's a little extra lesson in placements um, I suggest stay away from that kind of thing till you get really comfortable because it is confusing as all get out um, but just you know one of the things you can remember is everything can have its own origin and own placement um, and there can be multiples of those when you get into code by the way so um, that's it for today I hope you learned something from this and I uh, hope to see you in the next video and oh I forgot I think I forgot to mention to check out the Patreon um, of the developers, Yorick, um, Kurt, and Real Thunder. I'll have links in the descriptions for those. And then if you want me to continue and like my videos and want me to get paid, check out my Patreon. Um, have a great day and see you next time.